Hi, I'm Chef Jennifer Pinsano, chef owner of Jay Fires Market Bistro in Waterloo, Illinois. Today for the seafood feature, I'm going to do seared scallops with a flounder, uh, with risotto, a really nice um, seafood fennel tomato broth, and a green onion and balsamic. Uh, I've got some really nice uh, aged balsamic. This is my little treat. Um, that I'm going to do with the green onions to top the scallops. So in this stock, uh, it's just a seafood and or a shrimp stock that I've done. Added tomatoes, beets, rosemary, fennel. Um, what else? Tomatoes. I think I said that. I'm just going to simmer that up, and I'm actually going to blend all that in together. And then uh, over in this pot is the green onions. This is just going to stay, and we're just going to caramelize and cook these down. And at the very last, I'll put in the balsamic. Okay, so we've got um, Swiss chard. I'm going to also just saute up a little of this and put that in the um, seafood feature. But I'm just going to show you real quick of how we work with it. Uh, a lot of times you can pinch it, get it going, and just pull that leaf right off of that. Um, sometimes I'll save some of these, the stems, but you want to cut it and then cut it again and do little little dice. I'm going to take the flounder and break it down and I'm just going to show you a quick little way. You want to start right here and cut, make an incision and you want your knife just to follow the bones down and you'll feel it. Flounder is one of the trickier fish to fillet so I you don't even want to mess with it. Just buy it already filleted up. You've got a little um, section, a little backbone kind of like thing in the center there. So we can eat filleting it. And then when you have this piece, the way to get that skin off of there is just to go straight down between the skin and the meat. And that's something else you want to have a flexible knife that you can kind of feel through. And then you've got your fillets. And that's going to be the fillets that I use for the seafood feature for this Friday night. Okay, so right now I'm working the risotto. Uh, I've just got the rice and a little bit of butter in here. I'm going to toast it up. And then you add the chicken stock, any kind of stock that you want. You're going to consistently stir. You do not want to stop stirring. So we got a great room to do a really nice sear with these scallops. I'm going to start those first and then we'll do the flounder. On uh, this pan, it's just got a little bit of that sauce with the risotto. It's got a nice creamy risotto when you're finishing it. You really never want to stop it. Just add a little bit of chicken stock. Panne the fl uh, flounder just a little bit. Panne in it is just meaning just a dust with flour. You don't want a whole lot of flour to stay on it. And we're going to get those searing. Then with this pan, we're going to do the Swiss chard, which here's those little um, stems that I had. Start that. Take a nice handful. And a little rice wine vinegar. I like to incorporate a little sweetness. And just a pinch of salt. You want to watch the salt because when that reduces down, it will become too salty. So now that you've seared both sides, I'm going to warm up the sauce.
just kind of stew that down a little bit. And you just want to wilt that. Okay, and then to plate up, put the risotto down. Scallops. And then that sauce that I warmed up in there. And I made a little bit of a green onion. You kind of call it a marmalade. Green onion marmalade with that uh, really nice balsamic vinaigrette. Or balsamic vinegar. Uh, it's a 12 year from Italy. I'm just going to dollop that right on top of the scallops. And we got the Swiss chard to go right up on top. 